G'day folks, Pakira here and welcome back to ETS. Got a bit of a haul today as we head north to Gion, uh, one of the cities in Iberia that we have yet to conquer. I'm just pulling out of the rest stop here after our last delivery I pulled in here once I got unhooked, got a bit of fuel topped up, had a kip and we're on our way now to go and pick up our delivery. So I will see you shortly when we get there. We've got another heavy haul job and I'm a glutton for punishment. See you soon when we pull them. Okay, folks, we're all hooked up here. Uh, there's a nuclear facility in front of us, but we are in, obviously, the grounds. So what are we taking? We are taking a Volvo wheel loader, 35 tonnes to uh, Gion in uh, northern Spain. And just have a look at the cargo first. We can see here. We are a bit of a glutton for punishment doing all these big jobs. Uh, the truck may or may not quite handle it. But, um, yep, we're doing a lot of the heavy hauling in around uh, Iberia at the moment. So let's have a look at the map and see where we are going. Uh, so we're picking up here from our mirrors where we last left off. Just bypassing Madrid, going through here. I say through here. The, and going heading north into Gijon. And now we do, I'm going to be a bit of a... Oh, I'm tempted here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all the ages. We have a city here of Leon to unlock. So I'm going to take a little detour here. And we're going to come this way, unlock what will be a dealership, I would say. I'll be surprised. It may well be a, a um, recruitment agency. But I think that's probably the recruitment agency down there. We're going to, I'm going to come up this way as well. <laughs> And then we're going to go back onto our merry way here. So it is going to be uh, Gion via whatever place it's called. Let's get stuck into it. We are going... Now I do have... Uh, not installed, but I have selected an option. Normally you'll see me doing this, doing this. And I will still do that. But if you look at the camera, I'm not going to... So my vision changes now based on the steering. You'll notice it more as we go there. I'm going to reset my camera to center, and you'll see here. There we go. So that's what it does. Now there's a, there's a slider where you can kind of adjust the sensitivity of that, but I'm just leaving it by default. And we should be okay because I, um, we are in the facility here. Now I still will use my buttons there because I'm just used to it, and also that just gives me sometimes a little bit of a, a bit of angle sometimes, especially with reversing. Uh, I found. Sometimes deactivating it just helps a little bit. So we're on our way here. We are leaving the facility. That's interesting little tourner here. Should good be good to go. Okay. We'll just get out of here. I would need to Need to give way, so we'll just give way there. Excellent. All right, get up to speed. So we have a need for speed. Oof. All right, folks. I will see you when we get a bit closer to uh, the action. Uh, it's a nice day here. It is 11:54 in-game morning, so we've got an afternoon drive. Um, so it's going to take us a few hours, about six hours or so, to get up there. I'll see you as we get. Uh, through little bits and pieces and I'll probably chuck in a couple of time lapses or a time lapse here and there as well so well I'll get back to you officially maybe when we're uh, just bypassing that in uh, otherwise it'll be when we are getting close to our little tiki tour see you soon folks thank you Doug I'm trying to get up the hill bro Just on the uh, bypass here of Madrid, as we're approaching it here, pretty much. So, uh, interesting, I'm not sure if, if I caught the screenshot enough, but uh, there was a fighter jet on the side of the road, it's fallen off its trailer. I believe someone had mentioned that before they saw it as well in their game. Um, and I had a look up ahead, it looked like there was like three or four little fighter jets flying around. Um, up in the sky as well, which was not too bad. And uh, yeah, a couple of accidents bypassing as well. Now, 
I can I can solemnly state I am was not a reason for any of those crashes. Yeah. Okay. No, seriously, I wasn't. But so. Doug's just giving us the directions now. We're going to just go right, head right, and get, head up to the north now, Madrid and um, Corona. Uh, but we are actually not taking uh, the Madrid exits here. We just need to go left. Make sure we've got plenty of time so we don't have to take out any cars on the way. Looks like traffic is slowing down the head uh, for some reason, actually. Oh, maybe because the speed limit says 40. As we go under here. Weird. Okay. So. If you're hauling something that's quite heavy, it takes a wee while if you have to lose momentum. But we are doing what we are supposed to do. Just uh, it's an interesting speed uh, limit here, 40. But I guess it's the turn, the corner of it. it. Just, yeah. But yeah, we're kind of in the outskirts here of Madrid. And in, very outskirts of it anyway. So nothing to write home about. But I will see you when we get close to the turn off. We're pretty much on the turn off. Still don't understand this AI, guys. Uh, when we get to the turn off for our little ticket tour, I'll get up some speed and then we will be on our way. See you soon, folks. Sorry, folks, I was not going to... Oh, if we could get around it, we were getting around it because our exit is right here. I'm not taking no big detour, probably never, land to get here. So, yep. And this is where we want to be anyway. This is our detour, a little ticket tour into the King Leon to see the Kings of Leon. Uh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, I take no responsibility for that uh, accident there with the helicopter being called in either. Uh, just trying to get around it. As you saw, there was an invisible barrier uh, around the front area of the helicopter. I couldn't go any further. That's why we reversed and tried to creep around the back end and 
creep and sneak and just squeeze through is definitely what we were doing but ladies and gentlemen leon is discovered conquistador 36 out of 51 now we're gonna go and turn right here and then go around it and see what the uh, nice little day let's see if i can do it this way I have to go back in the cab so I know which way I am um, having to turn. turn left. Okay, so there's a Renault deal there. That's what it is. We didn't unlock it. Because but that's okay. I do know what it is. It is a Renault dealer. So you probably hopefully you would have seen the the symbol anyway. sun is setting it is getting late here it is uh half past just what just after half past seven uh in game time in the evening here so we um yeah we are going to get into Gion uh in the evening but um oh, some guys still getting some work done there on the wall with any luck we can uh well, look, some markets there. Oh, I'm tempted to get over and have a look and see what food they had. <laughs> we'll just go through straight through here to, uh, we are leaving Leon, But we're going to have a look at the other end of uh, whatever this is, which are, to me it should be, still be Leon, But it looks like it's going towards uh, Valadurud and Vigo. Uh, but what I want to see is what this little town if we can't say is ahead of us if it's part of uh leon it looks like astoria or scoria ponferico oh, sorry butchers um that's why i was a butcher by trade just because i butcher names as well by looks but uh, we'll go through and yep leon so we are back in leon okay so i was correct it is leon uh, the other side of leon it's just because we had the exit sign back there uh, and now we've got the entry sign, so the whole area is Leon anyway, so we'll just go here and have a turn up and just see how we go. Again, I just need to know where I am, so maybe we should be turning this way, folks. We do have to be careful. Wow, okay, baby, look at this. This is a nice area, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting. Big, massive rest stop, something's nothing. Oh, yes, it is. Look at that on the sat nav. You can see it there. Fuel station, rest stop. Uh, yep. We are good for fuel, but I'm just tempted. We may well just jump in here for a sleep and then we can finish our shift in the morning. Uh, I'm just going to have a look because this is a freight job okay so taking a risk a rest would be a bit of a risk because we've only got seven and a half hours left um of the journey well before the demand is for the delivery to be completed so we won't do that but we will pass the recruitment agency here on the left, ready to turn left. there she is and we'll just hang a left here turn left. and then we'll get back on track and into Gion. Cars are not coming. We should be good. I'm just going to take this wide here. Oh, got to be careful because we do tip because of that extra weight we kind of have there. Got to be careful and wary of that, I've noticed as well. Okay, folks, so. That is Leon discovered and had a bit of a look, see you around. She's a beaut of a uh, evening, and I will see you when we get towards Gion. We should only be a few minutes away uh, from that now. See you soon, folks.
Okay, folks, we've got a viewpoint. I can't resist the viewpoint. It's getting dark, but we might be able to just see enough of it. So let's pop in here. And let's get into this a viewpoint, shall we? Alright, not too bad. A little bit dark as expected, but I can't resist a viewpoint. Let's get back on the road. We are almost there. Perfect. Right, we're on our way. And away we go. So it's very dark here now. And we're about four minutes away from our final destination here. And um, yeah, it's in the dark time. The night time. 21.36. Half past nine just after. And uh, yeah, we shouldn't be too far away from pulling in anyway. And so what I'll do is I will catch you when we... But well, when we are in a job. Alright, folks, here we are. We're just taking a. Oops, stick done by the copper. Gion is discovered. Achievement conquested all 37 out of 51. Now I need to slam the brakes on fast. No. Trying to get this done. Right, oopsie daisy. <laughs> yeah, I left it all on screen. Oh my goodness gracious. Polonka. So, okay, now we're on the right road. We're on the right track again. 
Oh my goodness, I don't make it easy for myself, do I? And I keep taking these big haul jobs. It's got nothing to do with the trailer, though. That was just complete buffoonery on behalf of the driver. <laughs> But we're not far away now, we're about a minute away. <laughs> well, we'll probably be there by now if I didn't have to do that. And Gion is there, was of course we had discovered already. So that is two cities discovered and unlocked today. Now folks, I'm just going to let you know that instead of doing a whole massive 12 or 10 or more episodes in a row of exploring Iberia, I'm going to mix it up again a bit with other trips just to pique the interest some of you might not just be too you know all the Iberian roles jobs in a row because there's a lot of cities we're trying to do so I'm going to be doing them in batches of uh, see there's 10 left now so I'm going to do them in about batches of two so basically if I can't get two uh, cities done in a row depending on how many cities but I'm going to just I'm going to see if we can do maybe two episodes and then we will do another episode of another drive somewhere else. Um, that may entail just using my other profile for a little bit of a insight anyway. But I'm just, I'll, I'm planning it out. I'm just going to see how many cities we have left once we get to Gion. Um, and I will we'll work it out that way. We got lucky because we could discover two cities today. Um, and sometimes you get lucky with the routes you can kind of just do some little detours and do that um, as we saw early on um, early on a few quite a few episodes ago now but I just think to, to mix it up a bit for you guys so it's not continuously Iberia um, even though it's a beautiful DIC uh, I'll probably look at doing that but you know let me know down below you'll have about a week or no uh, or a few days anyway but yeah just feel free to comment down below let me know if you're happy to just keep on trucking uh, until we complete Iberia then more than happy to do so um, helps if I'm not pushing the brake come on yeah let me know um, otherwise we can mix it up I was just been thinking about that for about a, probably a week now big industrial area here and then we go straight ahead Right. Making driving at night in this game not easy, especially when you've got a bit of sun coming through the damn blinds <laughs> in real life. <laughs> but here we go anyway. So it's night time. I ain't going to be doing the full XP parking. I'll be like, probably just doing the good old fifteen percent. There's my man. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, so we're gonna go and do that. Just down there, I guess. So we'll loop around because I don't think there is any fencing here. No, there's not. So bonus ticket. There it is. Okay. Nicely done. We should be all right to do this. Yeah. Beautiful. We'll turn her off. Let's just detach the uh, trailer now. Okay. A thousand, just over a thousand XP. Twenty-seven, just over twenty-seven thousand euros there. And uh, as we aim and get closer to level thirty-seven, trailer is still there. They're going to just tell us to leave it there. We're going to be good. We've handed in our paperwork. We're all set to go. We are three hours away from a rest, so I'm going to probably plot a course on the map and get that done and out the way. Um, over here, just around the corner as well, so I'll do that anyway. And then uh, we will see you next episode, folks. Look, it will be an, it will be an Iberia one, more than likely. Um, give you a bit more of a chance to let me know in the comments what you think, if we should mix it up a little bit. But um, if you're happy to just come on, let's soldier on, let's get it done. Well, then we will do just that. All right, folks, I'm going to hand in the paperwork, finalize everything, and go and get a kip.
Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, comment and share. Special thanks to all my new subscribers and existing subscribers. For more from Pakira NZ, check out the links on screen, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and hit that bell. Till next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Kia kaha.